Hi everyone. Uh, right, um, I've been asked about this glue gun that I'm using now. Right, the one I've got at the moment is this one. Let me just show you. It is the Showbunder again. Now you buy this in America. I'm not sure. I think it's from Joanne's. Chris always gets me mine. Uh, they don't last me two minutes because I use them that often and I usually end up blowing them up. You, I, yes, because um, we have to fit them, you know, with the adapter. With us being in the UK and this being a US gun. But, uh, <laughs> so, at the moment I'm on the Sherbonder. I do have a couple of these in case this one does blow up. Um, I will find a decent gun. I will find one that suits me perfectly at some point, but not quite uh, right now. Now, I've shown you this. There's that little book I've covered. I'm just going to put them bits on. I forgot about that. Um, people want to know... Uh, I keep getting asked about the things I like to use. So, I'm going to... I've got my desk in... Well, obviously, I've got my desk in front of me. You can see the blooming top. But I'm going to show you um, what I use, what I have at hand uh, that I use an awful lot of. So, or I use regular. So what I'm going to show you now is, I keep these handy. These are colour washes. Um, these are the uh, Adirondack ones. Butterscotch and Espresso. Um, I like those two colours. Like the vintage colours and I like that. But I do have lots and lots of them. I use the Cosmic Shimmer ones a lot of. Um, the Dreamweaver's Crackle Paste. I have two tubs right in front of me at all times because I never know when I'm going to use it. I use it an awful lot. Um, and let me tell you, now, where did I get these? Well, these were off the internet, off eBay, so I can tell you that. Can't tell you the shop, just type it in. You'll, they'll come up. Shop around. These are also off eBay. Shop around. <laughs> I do use this for acrylic paints and mediums. I do use Winsor & Newton, Galeria one. I'm sure that's how you say it. This is a white acrylic. But I use um, heavy carvable modelling paste. I've just started to use this, which is the Claudine Helmuth Studio matte medium, uh, multi-medium, but that's in the matte. But I have to tell you, one of the smoothest acrylic paints that I've ever worked with is Claudine Helmuth. They're, they're half that size pots. You don't get a lot for your money. I think she could come down in price, but obviously people buy it, like me and, you know, us fools that splash out now and again. Some more than others. But yeah, uh, so Claudine, if you ever, ever see this video, please bring your prices down so that everybody can afford them. Uh, because... Um, your paint is fantastic. It's one of the smoothest acrylic paints I've ever worked with. And I've worked with an awful lot of paints. So I do like that. I also like this, which again is Winsor & Newton. I buy a lot of Winsor & Newton because it's a good, long-standing company who gives value for money. Say no more. Um, so this is the clear gesso. I absolutely love this and it gets plastered on a lot of things And if you're new to crafting you don't know what it's for you can just basically you can seal things with it before you You know like, like I've got this piece of chipboard. I could paint it with that to start with it seals that card uh, You can put it over things when, when you've done things you know like a, a mixed medium card or something like that And then you can put that over it there's lots and lots of uses. Mix it with other things, colour it, do whatever you like with it. Um, and this, I love this. Whoa, that was a bit silly. Come on, woman. I knocked it over. This, it's Decker Patch. It's bright green. Type it in uh, on eBay and you can't miss it. It's lime green. Um, well worth it. Goes a long, 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 long way. And um, when I finished a project, you know, like when I did this, I actually used that on top, sorry, on top to seal it. And it gives a nice sheen. It's really, really pretty. So I do use that and it's called Decker Patch. Um, I like using things like these, the flakes. Now, value for money, these are the better ones. And this is indigoblue.com. Indigoblue.com, Mega Flakes, Lancashire Rose, um, and you get quite a lot for your money. 
bad, and I'm always uh, there for a bargain. As anybody will know if they know me. Um, I always try and keep several of these in different sizes, which are the stylus. Uh, it's a rounded ball on the end, and uh, it's great for when you're doing paperwork and things that you know want to do petals and shape petals. And if you're not sure how to use it, Miss J, Mrs J, that's me. Well, uh, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me get a piece of card. Get a piece of card, and I'll show you how to use it. You need. Well, I use a foam board, but you. You know, I started out originally using, um, you know, the innards out of jewellery boxes because it's like a pad. So just use that. You know, you don't have to go and buy it. I actually got this gifted to me. I didn't buy it. Um, but if you're doing a petal, let me cut a petal out for you. I'll just, you know, sort of cut a petal. You know what I mean. Something like that. It doesn't have to be like that. But if you want that petal to stand up, you just use the ball end of it. And it, what it does, it breaks up the fibre. So first of all, break up the fibre. Like that. And then you can start working on it. You can do a lot with these. And you see, see what happens? And then if you do it a little bit lighter handed like that or you can turn it over and just curl that backwards while keeping the ball end here that you've already done to make it look a little bit more natural and there you go and that's what they're for love using those uh, if you can get a a full set do try and do that because um you often find you can you can use them for lots of different things now paint brushes don't go buying sable brushes and things like that where they cost an absolute fortune i do lots of paintings i do acrylic painting mainly but even with watercolors i use these and these are the um oh bum i forgot the blooming name of them let me see well, these are these are the, I like these, the soft grip ones, because they're a lot easier when your hand's flowing and you've got a really soft grip there. But these are the nylon type um, bristles. They're all the same, roughly all the same. I love using those. And you can get them in such a variety of sizes and they are quite cheap to buy. So it's like the nylon bristle one. Um, you know, I mean... You don't need to go and pay a fortune for brushes. These are just as good. It's how you work it. Tools. Whew. Always have a ruler. <laughs> don't buy the wooden ones because they don't last. I'll tell you that now. If you're anything like me, I've had to buy metal ones, steel ones. Uh, because every time I use a, a ruler, it's um, <coughs> wooden. And I cut it. Um, I would suggest to get one of these. And it's a long handle lighter, because if you don't like burning yourself when you're doing your flowers, use one of those. You could buy them anywhere that sells kitchen equipment, things like that. Um, you know, sometimes you get a different style, you know, that old fashioned, like the, what we used to use for the caravan type things. Um, in, the, in the caravans and for the gas stove when you're camping. Just get one of those. They're very, very handy to have and you don't burn yourself. And they're a lot safer, actually. But, you know, don't worry. You don't have to have one of those. If you can't afford one, get a candle. They're just as good. I've used candles. Um, we've gone through scissors before. I've got a video out on scissors. Um, as you know, I do own, I do own a pair of Tim Holtz. And very rarely use them. Why? Because I cut myself with them all the time. What it is, they're short. You see? Very short. And I find them quite dangerous. And that's not good for Tim Holtz. But then again, he ain't the one cutting his fingers. And it's not because they're misused. Because they're not. I don't misuse my scissors. And I have scissors for everything. I have paper scissors. Material scissors. Um, different fabric scissors. 
lots and lots. In fact, on my desk, in my little tub, this is my scissor collection. And I use whatever it is I need to use for whatever reason. Where's that other one? I've got another one somewhere. Yep, in the bottom. And they're the ones I use for fussy cutting. So it's not that I misuse scissors at all. I don't. But, oh, and I have my clippers as well. Handy to have those. Um, I, I, they're, just, I ha they're the only pair of scissors that I've ever owned where I've cut myself with them. And it's because they are short. And when I'm using it and cutting something, you know, it's too near, too close. So, like I say, I don't misuse my scissors and I look after them. Unfortunately, they're the only ones that I have problems with. Um, so, yeah, that's my scissors. What else? Always keep a nice stack of glue uh, with you. Um, I, always, I have a little tub. Always have a little tub with me. That's what I made the other day, look. But I always have a little tub at the side of me. With just bits in. Like if I need a bit of wire, I've got three different lots of wire. I've got the ink if I need it. I've got some chipboard if I need it. Um, I've got a little paint palette if I need it. They're just and a bit of lace. They're just basics there. That I keep close by just in case. Um, what else? Let me see, let me see, let me see. Well, basically, I just keep around with what I need. Um, Mod Podge. I've got some of this. I, this is a paper Mod Podge. So that's the mat. But I also have um, the other Mod Podge, uh, Podge, which are the big tubs. Uh, because I do use those for sealing, uh, for gluing things down, or whatever. And I use this quite a bit as well which is the uh, glossy accents now I have several of these because I get to about half an inch down and I open a new bottle and I shouldn't but um, every now and again I get so many bottles tip them upside down and then pour them into one and I end up with a full one so maybe it doesn't matter <laughs> um, so that's the glossy accents but I also own the uh, glossy accents in the crackle the crackle accents and um, Really good. Oh, wait a minute. Got something with a load of glue on it. Uh, let me see. A good selection of um, needles. I've just recently bought these large ones. And I have to say, ladies, if you can get them and you've got bad fingers and hands like me, get these. They are far better to use, um, these t long ones. Um, and I just typed in on eBay, long sewing needles and um it came in a pack of three so we've got that one which is about four inches is it one two three yeah. four inches that one i'd say was three and a half and then we've got that one at least six inches and they are really really good and um i'm holding my needles much much easier so that's just a little tip it's well worth it if you uh can uh, now tips. I've got a selection of tips that I have. I just put my uh, glossy accents back. Um, double sided tips, different thicknesses. Um, I always have quite handy as well masking tape uh, and things like that. Um, and thick foam tape, so because you never know when you're going to need it. Um, yeah. Right, another vital piece of equipment that I have is this. Now, it, when I do fossiling, this is my fossiling tool for scraping bits away from uh, fossils. Uh, well, I don't use this one now. I've got another one for that. But the, um, I find it very handy. Um, it's got a little hook one on there so I can remove things or pick things up. And then it's got the sharp one. But yeah, I find that really handy and a good grip. So you do need a sharp object. Um, 
pencils, if you've got them, or if you can get hold of them, you need at least one dark and one white pencil. Um, this one, as well, this one is my art pencil. I've got something on that. Um, and it's called Chinese White, so I use that one a lot uh, on fabrics and that. And then there's the darker one on light fabrics, the light one on dark fabrics. Um, I think that's the pick me up tool. You just wet it on your tongue and pick things up with it, and that's the pick me up tool. But you can use it as a pencil, because I have. <laughs> um, I always keep these right in front of me, and it's very, very, very fine glitter. Um, I've had this. Um, well, I've had this one since I started crafting on YouTube, so it's coming up four years, something like that. And I do use it regular. And look at it, little loads left, because glitter, if it's used right, can last you a long time. Water bottle. You know, I look at this. It's absolutely, ugh. but um, it's my water bottle. It works and it does the job. So have one of those. Sometimes you can get these little sprays. This is a range you want. It was gifted to me. And I have to say it's not something I would personally buy myself um, because I just use an ordinary bottle. Uh, and then, you know, different glues. I use lots of different glues for lots of different things. Um, it's just whatever suits you. Another thing that I always keep handy, because you never know when you're going to need it, if I take a watch apart or something like that, it's a set of uh, screwdrivers. And these are cheap enough to buy on the internet. I've bought um, two sets up to now. Um, one is for the use around the house, and then one's my art ones. And they're the, they've got colours, and they're reversible as well. So um, I think there was 12 in a set, and I paid probably about six pounds seven pounds for them i have got them on the video as well so it's really handy to have some uh, screwdrivers and tweezers mm. never yet found a really good pair of tweezers these are from every crafts a pound now go and run along to every crafts a pound uh, because it is a is a uk place but you can buy your chipboard there you get so many chipboards uh, everything's a pound type of thing so they are, you know they do have other things a little bit more expensive but you get these tweezers there um, they are non-stick handles they're the best ones I've found so far um, but I do have several different sets can I have the pointed ones as well and these are great for excuse me what are you doing the dogs they're great for uh, twisting flowers uh, and then pens. Make sure you've always got a good marker. Because um, you never know when you need to mark something or write something. And you need a nice pen uh, to do your nice, you know, your bestest handwriting. Um, and I think that's it, really. Yeah, i tell you what I do have. Files. I have a set of files. And I've had these years. Because they're great, you know, for the chipboard do the edges with them absolutely great look at that far better than one of those things but there you go that's everybody's choice everybody to their own taste but uh, that's another thing that I often keep and because I do work with clay I also have uh, oh yes that's me with the scissors I also have some clay tools uh, and they're great so it depends what craft work you do. I do a little bit of everything. So therefore I have uh, in my stash a little bit of everything. Uh, I'm all about tools to work with basically. So yeah. You will get your collection together. There's lots of other alternatives. I mean for tools like this. Before I bought these I used the back of spoons. You know, and over the ta over time, you will get to buy some, get to own some. But I did. I I used the back of spoons, the handles and whatever for my clay work. So um, there you go. Thanks for watching. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.